So first things first, we want to import React uh, and use state again, because we're going to use a hook function for this. Um, and I will show you how hook functions work. So here's how a hook works. Um, to create a variable, um, you would say const brackets. So this is going to be a note taking app. So I'm just going to say all notes. Um, so this is going to be an array that holds all of our note data. Um, so I'm going to call that all notes. That's the name of the variable. Uh, that's the name of the state. To be able to update the state, the second value here is what you would use to update the value of all notes. And the way you can just name it uh, is say set all notes. You can just say set whatever you call your variable. And you'll know that that's what you use to update your state. Um, over here, you would say use state. And within here, this is the original value of all notes, of whatever your state is. Just like with a stateful component, you would start out with something. Uh, here's where you would put it. So I'm going to say this is an array, just an empty array. So I'm going to put that there. Um, and so that'll be a value for all nodes. But say, here, I'll create a few more of these. And I'll say, uh, I'll have one for just note. And then I'll just say set note. So this will be, say, like all the data inside of a single note. So for our note taking app, you'll have all the notes on a screen. And then if you click on one or tap on one, uh, that could open up the what's whatever is inside of a single note. So we'll want that to be an array too. And let's see, we might not need much more than this for now. Um, let me think though. Uh, but just as an example, I'll just say, I don't know, a uh, note text. We probably won't need this, but I'll, I'm just going to show you. Note text. If you wanted some it to be just a string, you can uh, start it out like that. And then uh, if you wanted an object, you could start it out as an object. Um, and so, so maybe actually this note will be an object. So I'm actually going to switch this to an object. OK, so all the notes will be in, a, in an array. Um, the individual notes will be an object with values inside of those notes. Um, and I don't think we'll actually need this, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. I just wanted to show you how hooks work. And then from then on, whenever you want to access the value of one of these, you can you could access the value of, say I want to do a console log. I could access the value of all notes this way. And then if I ever want to change the value of all notes, I could do something like this, copy set all notes. And then within there, it would still need to be an array of some kind um, because this is a const. So it can't be any other type of data. Uh, but I could go ahead and in here, I could add an object with a key that says note uh, text, say uh, hello. And that would change the value of this all note state to, uh, to this. And that's the basics of how hooks work. So we'll be using hooks a lot in this. So uh, that's just a brief overview. So you know what we're doing if you haven't used hooks before. But it's that simple. Again, it's super, super simple. If you like this video, this is part of a much larger tutorial, which can be found right there.
you'll like that one. Also, if you are interested in push notifications, nativenotify.com is actually a push notification company. Uh, you can actually have push notifications set up in under a minute using nativenotify.com. This video right here shows you how we did it. Thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon. We come out with videos all the time. And uh, if you like this video, please like this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.